guys, Trey Lowell here, and I just got out to Maryland, and today, doing something, this is the first time thing I've ever done. I'm actually collaborating with another YouTuber. I'm actually here to shoot some of the behind the scenes footage, some of her intro footage. We're gonna collaborate together. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an insight of what her studio setup looks like, what her sneaker collection looks like. What's Yo, what up? What's going on? Nice. All right, guys, so we have officially arrived. Ashley right here, best pair ever. Let's go give a tour of the setup. Best pair ever is uh, me and two friends. We're, uh, we're going back into sneaker history, taking the good, the bad, the technology, the style, the players who, you know, these shoes are based on and everything. And we're every week telling you why this sneaker is the best pair ever. So, um, of course, you know, it's, it's all up to opinion. Everyone likes different things, but it, it's, you know, pleading your case. It's, hey, this is the best pair ever. Why, why not, you know, stuff like that. Can you give my audience and even your audience a little bit of a background on kind of like where you're coming from and when you started this uh, this whole shoe adventure? Okay, so um, I got into shoes pretty much because when I was younger I played a lot of basketball and uh, my team had team shoes. I hated the team shoes. And so I always ended up, instead of watching the game, watching everyone else's shoes. And so um, my love grew from there, uh, watching basketball, watching what NBA players are wearing. And then, um, I had one, one, I won't call it life-changing, but one big experience. Uh, I was walking in a mall with my best friend and we came across a, a girl and her father and they stopped me and my friend and they asked me what size shoe I was wearing, where I got my shoes and then they asked me if they could buy them off my feet. Now, as a, as a 13 year old, you know, you, I, sneaker culture is not, you know, there was no resellers then. So I had never heard anything like that. And I told him no, because you know I'd have to walk around the mall barefoot without shoes. But in the back of my mind, it always stuck that you know sneakers were more than just leather and rubber. After that point, they were they were something you could make money off of. And as you know, the culture grew and reselling grew. You know, it it, it kind of blossomed. But that 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 moment, I want to say at 13, when um I was wearing the, the Jordan Dub Zeros, the first first colorway, the blue ones. And it, it was that moment where I realized that they were, they were more than just shoes to some people. They were things you, you needed to have. How often is it, can I kind of keep an eye out for this podcast or this YouTube channel um, for somebody that might be interested in getting updated? So uh, we're shooting for a once a week kind of a update. So, you know, four times a month, thinking Thursdays, but you know, not sure yet, but it's gonna be a, a, a once a week podcast. So every week, tune in, we'll be there. We're gonna be talking shoes, we're gonna be talking culture, and of course, we're gonna give you the best pair ever. All right, so one thing that keeps catching my eye are these pink, these pink shoes right here. What's the deal with those? What, what's this? These? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, if you're a sneakerhead, you know who uh, Don C is. He's uh, one of Kanye's homeboys. But um, this is the Don C Jordan. Uh, it's it's pretty dope, because it was this was the first one that they made for women. Um, cause I think what he said was, you know, all the shoes he was making, his family couldn't wear it. His wife couldn't wear it. His kids couldn't wear it. So he, uh, you know, it, he made these, um, what's dope about it is the, the print it's based off of like an old school Chanel bag that his wife carries. Nice. So I think it, it's, it's always really cool when, you know, someone designs a shoe and they bring in something from another world, which is, you know designer bags so he's looking out for the ladies for that one he's he's definitely looking out and what's what's price tag on something like that uh retail was 350 nice. so i'm not sure what they're reselling for because i'll right. never sell one the new show the podcast where can we find you on the instagrams on the twitters youtube facebook you name it where can we find you best pair ever pod um it'll be twitter facebook instagram and then of course youtube